Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Sunday, March 28th, 2021 by Gaia Bloomy. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is my inner harmony is my divine responsibility. And back from Arkansas, beautiful state. Uh, thank you guys for your patience as I did wonky videos and write-ups this week uh, and back right in time for a really potent powerful full moon. So full moon energy always has some kind of potency. It is uh, a nice balance of the sun and the moon working together in tandem. <laughs> Gucci is outraged. Joe just walked out the door and she's like you you can't leave me again. You can't leave me again. This poor little baby. Anyway <laughs> full moons already have potency to them as it is the sun and the moon and even the earth all working in tandem. Um, but we have a few other additions with this full moon. We actually have the sun conjunct Venus, conjunct Chiron. So there is healing energy in this full moon. So let's actually start there with all of this energy. <laughs> um, it is happening at eight degrees. So we have all of these energies at eight degrees. Uchi, I think you need to listen to this horoscope. So all of this energy hanging out in Aries is really bringing about the importance of self-love, self-focus, self-healing. Uh, Libra energy <laughs> works with the we energy. Aries is the me. So there is some we focus going on. Poor thing's traumatized. <laughs> She's like, don't ever do this ever again. Luchi, come here, baby. Come here. Come on, you're safe. We're here. <laughs> anyway, um, me and we. So what I've said for a long time is one of the major lessons of Libra, Libra being about harmony and balance and centering, is focusing on the me. So often Libra energy can have us focusing so much on the we, focusing on the other, trying to create harmony outside of ourselves. And this full moon, this sun, Venus, Chiron connection is saying, you can try all you want to create that harmony outside of yourself. You can hold the intention of peace in the world for forever. But if you are not practicing divine responsibility, that eight degree energy, bring that focus back to yourself, then you're going to be spinning like this poor little kitty. <laughs> you're going to feel lonely. You're going to feel off balance. Not to say that you don't necessarily you won't feel this otherwise. Um, a lot of times when you're trying to create harmony, when you have not worked on your personal divine responsibility, it can cause a lot of issues outside of the self. And so this is a divine call for healing. Again, that eight degrees. Venus is like, what do you love? When you're being true, true to your I am, true to your soul, what do you love? How are you engaging in that? How are you taking action or being actionable in that energy. How is that providing healing energy for you? She's just, she's just making laps. <laughs> she's like, Joe, Joe, come back. Come here, Luchi. You're not alone. Come here. I know. It's okay. He'll be back. <laughs> this is what happens. You know, she hasn't found that harmony completely in herself. And this is what we do. This is a beautiful, this is a beautiful demonstration. <laughs> um, so then we have this full moon energy coming in, which can also show us outside of ourselves where we're feeling off balance, where there isn't this harmony outside of ourselves. And again, when we're feeling that disharmony outside of ourselves, it can also point back right to us what's actually going on within us. So we can be like, Oh, I have this, I have this issue outside of myself. I have this issue with this person, or I have this issue with this energy. I have this issue with the universe. And it's like, no, 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 no. You have this issue, period. <laughs> and so this is a call to that healing, that divine responsibility of healing in and of yourself. Now I love, 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 love so much. The Sabian symbol for this full moon energy. Uh, so eight degrees Libra, 
is one of the most potent ones I've actually ever heard. Um, a blazing fireplace in a deserted home. Uh, and then the keynote is the need to realize that even in the most empty hours, the spiritual power is every ready to welcome and warm up the wayward consciousness returning to center. So perfect. But what it really feels like to me is, you know, we've heard this all the time, we're, that we're never really alone, that we are always held and provided for and, and loved on. And what it really feels like to me is like, that deserted home, even if we are not showing up, practicing our spirituality, practicing being spirits in a material world, <laughs> that, uh, that sting song popping into my head, our consciousness, our soul, it really feels more like a soul than consciousness. Our soul, that spirit is lit in us. It is present. It is available. And it's always ready for us to dig in and show up. And so working, cultivating the relationship with that, making that the most important thing, and then letting everything else move from that place, that to me is what feels like the point, the purpose of this full moon energy. So really being, really recognizing what the full moon is drawing to the, to the present, drawing to the moment, where you are being called to show up in that divine responsibility uh, to find what that balance is. So really, really, really potent energy. Now, let's see, we're going to have the sun conjunct Venus. That's the first thing in the morning, 9.30 a.m. And then I think the sun and Chiron, yeah, that's going to be early Monday. So we're going to be working through this energy continuously for this next like 24 hours. So really noticing where are you being called to show up for yourself, even though, you know, that there may be, you know, uh, energies coming up where we want to address things with others, showing up for yourself first and then is a big part of what we are learning. It's, you know, one of those old cliche things, you know, put on your oxygen mask first, but it's really important to be aware of that in this, in this full moon energy. Really, really, really potent, like I said. Now, besides that, <laughs> we do have the moon in Libra making several other uh, strong connections. Um, so there, again, there may be, like I said, some situational energies outside of ourselves that are brought up to see where we kind of fold when it comes to recognizing where we need to show up for ourselves first. So do be very aware of that. The moon is also going to be connecting to both Saturn and Mars in the energy. In fact, we actually have Grand Trine Air. Now that's going to be important to note that Grand Trine Air energy. Not even putting any mental stirrings before that divine responsibility of yourself. Oh, that's funny. That's why this card, we have this. I see you peeking in here. <laughs> I'm not making myself look. <laughs> we just had a conversation about that. Anyway, I have the Magician card, the Existence <laughs> card in here, in reverse. But this is what it feels like. Even like, you know, that manifestation, people, you know, it's, we can work with like new moons and full moons when it comes to manifestation, to setting those intentions. Not even putting that first. What happens when you put yourself first like this like really tuning into yourself body mind spirit soul that whole relationship of yourself breaking through those limitations breaking through any i don't know breaking through those outside uh conditionings that can rule us to really focus on the divine responsibility of self in and through this so the saturn the saturn piece and Saturn can uh, trine the moon. So Saturn in Aquarius, trine the moon in Libra. That Saturn energy, again, the conditioning, the responsibility to the world in Aquarius. Like, oh, I have to show up for the world like this. 
show up for the world like this, blooming in your true self, blooming in your beauty. Let the beauty of what you do, wait, let the beauty you love be what you do. There's hundreds of ways to kneel and kiss the ground. That roomy poem, letting that come from you, the way, you know, trees or plants will just flower and how much beauty that brings to the world. Keeping that in mind rather than that old conditioning of like, oh, well, I have to show up like this because this is what is expected of me. No, we are we are breaking through that in and through this energy. Moon, trine, Mars. I need to do, I need to say, I need to be. Anything other than you. Mars and Gemini. Gemini is such an interesting sign because Gemini can bring out that twin energy. It can bring out that twinning energy where we show up as somebody else may want us to be rather than who we are. So again, being able to hold your energy, being able to root in and ground the energy of who you are rather than being gone with the wind, rather than shifting too much with all this strong air, windy energy. So really getting rooted in ourselves in this. Again, this is really, really powerful energy. Now it's not to say that there may not be, again, challenging situations coming up. I actually have the isolation card in reverse. Like I really do feel like there will be some outside energies that are going to trip us up in this and show us where we really need to work on this. So be aware of that through the day. It's not like a be an island kind of day. We are definitely going to be feeling this, being tested in it, and yet rooting back into how am I being called to show up in my divine personal responsibility and working in and through that. So I'm going to leave that here. Um, I do want to mention I will be doing a, a podcast uh, called um, 2020 vision, uh, later in the evening, I've posted about that on Instagram and also on my Facebook page. So please come check that out. Some really cool peeps on that. Um, I'm back in town so you can book a reading with me. Email me, meanclark at gmail.com if you would like to book something. Besides that, the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you. Have the power and stay curious. Namaste.